So, this is the front of our school. You know, with the COVID, that's why they have. Make sure you wash your hands, people, wash your hands. So right here we have our administration office. These are the people that let the people in the door. Yeah, these are the people that get you out of trouble. Raven. Raven. Raven is exceptional. She's dynamic. She is wonderful. She is the best basketball player in the world. <laughs> This year, we're planning on to get the four P. Um, everyone is doubting us for some reason, but we just we're gonna prove them wrong. Haters, keep hating. We're gonna prove y'all wrong. Westlake carves their mark in history as one of the greatest dynasties in state history. The Westlake Lions, once again, the Queens. Our plan is to go back to Geico, get invited. If that happens, then we're definitely on the mission to win that. Championship here in Florida. The Westlake Lions, your Geico Nationals champion. My top five was Louisville, UConn, Baylor, South Carolina, and Oregon. I chose South Carolina because when I went to the South Carolina versus UConn game, I fell in love with the school, and I just thought that was my style of play. <laughs> And that school just fit me, fit me the most, so. They're really considered fans, but at South Carolina, that's how you know it's different, they call them fans. They are the best, like, at, they're at every game, the gym would be packed out. So that's one thing I really love about South Carolina. And Dunn Staley, our relationship, we, we just grew. She was, she was real with me, and her being a point guard, and I feel like she could take my games to the next level, me being a point guard, I feel like, she can teach me the things I need to work on, the things we can win national championships with an S. Ships. I think we can do that with Dunn Staley and the team that she has right now. Oh, this is our, this is our little word we be saying. <laughs> it's weird. This is the sign, right? Okay. Yeah. We be like, it's Liddy. That's our, that's our thing. I can't stop laughing. I'm so good. <laughs> I got me sick. Oh, we need a Raven Johnson? No, Raven. Make sure you see my necklace. People actually don't call me Raven off the court. They actually call me Hollywood. Hollywood is most definitely girly off the court, goofy off the court, playful off the court, loving off the court, caring off the court, the most genuine person you'll ever meet off the court, humblest person you'll ever meet off the court. That's Hollywood. Atlanta means everything to me, it's just the culture. Oh, no offense, I think we have the best hoopers. Boys, girls, we have the best hoopers. Okay. Dwight Howard, Sal Cooper, Anthony Edwards, Colin Sexton, Jalen Wendell Carter, um, we got Maya Moore. How could I forget about her? Maya Moore. I really like Tail Cooper because she's girly off the court, but on the court, she means business on the court. So I really like Tail Cooper. This is our football coach right here, Coach May. Uh, he's he's good, yes. the man. This Hold is our up. handshake. We got a little handshake. He's been down there working. Raven, I don't know how it works. Our star basketball player, Raven, just came in. Give me one second. That's our little handshake. That's the football coach. You know, that's that's my son, but he said I'm his daughter, quote unquote daughter. Oh, we work out with our trainer, Coach Justin. That's how we met. Yeah, me and him were close. Like, he really motivates me. Watching him work out, it makes me want to go 10 times harder. And him being the number one pick, people would doubt on him, makes me want to work harder and be in the shoes he's in right now. I've been grinding for the better days. Yeah, they like me because I did take no days off. I'm out here grinding every day. Yeah, I lost my mama and my grandma to the game and gave. Looking down on my son, yeah, he finally made a way.
But when I got to middle school and I realized that I could be good and people kept telling me, you could be good, keep going, train. And I met Coach Justin. That's when I started taking it serious and really just locking in and being the best version of myself. If it was easy, everybody would do it. If it was easy, everybody would do it. Come on. I got to hear you. There you go. Let's work. Let's work. Let's work. Let's work. Good. Knock down. Good. Nice. See the difference when you go hard? Oh, my gosh. He killed me today. Uh, we really worked on shooting, coming off the screen, shooting, uh, move to the basket, but really just shooting. That's why my legs are so tight right now. Back me up with that dribble. Hard, hard, hard. Uh. Nope. Mm -mm. Back me up with it. When I say back me up with it, I'm hitting them hard. So, boom. Yeah, that right there. I can't get back to my counter. I got to wait for him to come, for him to come back to get to my counter. So I'm backing him up. Then I'm into my move. Then I'm into my move. Back me up. Oh, good, good. Nice, beautiful, beautiful shot. You got really, to really know how to use that left to do this, though. I do. All right, let me see. Let's go. Open up. Good. Way to back me up. Good. Nice. Good. Good. Just the way her style of play, she's a floor general. Um, you know, she, she understands how to lead, and she's just a winner, man. I think uh, point guards are always supposed to be extensions of the coaches on the floor, and she, she does a really good job doing that. Well, definitely she's uh, the most versatile athlete on the floor, which is known by the triple-double that she recently received the other night. It's the first triple-double in Westlake history. Raven not only handles the ball, she can score, she can rebound. Uh, we had one recruiter to come in and said, you know, normally they drop their point guard back to cover the fast break. She said, as well as Raven rebound, we might have to leave her down there, get some rebound and send the two guard back. Uh, because she is an outstanding person to, to read where the ball is coming off, off the goal. So she brings something as a, in a point guard position that a lot of guards can't do in college. And she will be able to rebound for them. <laughs> Show y'all the rings. A uh, quote that sticks with me is, the cream always rises to the top. Well, my AU coach told me that when I was little. I just thought I wasn't going to be good. So he always said the cream always rises to the top. So basically it means keep grinding. Your time will come. This one going to make me bring the hood out. This one going to make me bring the blues out. Before I ever thought I'd catch some seeds, you got to catch me in. I got it at the mud. Ready? Shout out Slam! I'm just so cool.